Hey guys, um, today uh, let me share the topic for you guys. All right, so I know last week uh, this is a part two. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. Um, my name is Benny, for some of you who don't know. So last week we covered about the Scratch website and for offline editor. And also there is a Scratch editor using code blocks. We covered that one last week. For some of you, uh, if you missed a part one, there is a video link. Um, I'll drop it in the chat box. Uh, you can see the video. But some of you um, who been there last week, so this is part two. <clears throat> and this one, this project is very short. Uh, um, I'll try to cover on about um, uh, Rainbow Slants project. So this will be continuation from last week. So let me open my scratch, see. All right. So first thing is we need to do, uh, let's see, you know, we need to go to paint and actually let's, let's cancel this one. We don't need this, let's, uh, not this one. Go to paint and try to get the first Let's say probably let's see view dot. So this is the first one. And okay. Now what are you gonna do? Okay, you come here to the code. And uh, I know for some of you, just a reminder we did last time think some of you remember this. Uh, okay. And also it took the forever loop to low power sprite. And I think we'll move 10 steps. Yeah, that one also covered. All right, this one. You know, you can join like this and you drop it. And also, well, you can put this one under here. I think for bouncing, uh, there's a bouncing. Yeah, if on edge bouncing, yeah, we need this to, to bounce like this one to go every corner. So we need to use this. There we go. Uh, let's put it in the middle. But we need to make sure which angle, you know, which direction. I know last time we covered about the direction. We can make this to go every direction, not only straight line. We need to make it upside down, like all corners, you know. So to do that, uh, we need to pick point uh, in direction. Yep, for this guy. Uh, we can put this one actually here in the, in the bay, very beginning. But not only in 90 degrees, we need, we need to go everywhere. So for that one, we need to pick the random one. We need to go to operation and pick a random one. Okay. Then, you know, for this, this is smooth. We, know we don't need to put everywhere. See, when you put here, there is no place to put this one. Even when you drop it, it's not going to go anywhere. So the only way we need to put this is on the numbers. See, here. So once you do that, Let's say this one negative 180 to 180 degree. So this is what we covered last time, but we need to make we need less duplicate more instead of one, let's do it more. So to do that, you just you need to come to sprite and uh, right click and so this way we'll duplicate this. See another one. See another one, three. Let's do the last one for. So when you come here, you see you see the sprite. This one is sprite one. And when you come here, this one is sprite two. 
when you come here, this is sprite three. And when you come here, this one is sprite four. So pretty much uh, all of them are the same. Yes. So when I, when I click it, you see, it just one is bouncing. Right now we just click in only, uh, let's say this one. Stop this, start it again. You see now all of them is going. Yep, this is what we covered last time. But today, let me stop. To stop, you need to go here and stop execution. So <clears throat> this is what we covered yet, um, last time. But today, uh, we need to cover how to um, Rainbow Lands project, you see? And like right now, it just this one is just bouncing in every corner. This ball or scratch it will bouncing in every corner, 180, 200, uh, negative 180 degree to 180. So let me stop. Uh, so to do this, <clears throat> there are multiple ways, like how we need to make rainbows. You see the beautiful rainbows. Uh, how to do like automation. This is a concept of automation. By doing one scratch, you can do like multiple colors, multiple lines, just by doing one program. So this will give you on how to do things. Let's say if you do multiple things in one, you don't need to do repeated. So you set one time, then you can do, you can execute one by one. This is a concept of automation. How to put, to draw like rainbow lines, this is a very huge concept, but uh, let's see then. Uh, hopefully you guys will uh, do it by yourself too. All right. So to do that, uh, I need to uh, start from, uh, let's say, let's do the last one. I don't need this one. Forget this. And let's keep uh, this one, this one, this one, but the last one, no execution, good. So uh, to make rainbows, what like, let me kind of give you a concept of rainbows. Rainbows is like, you know, straight, a straight line is a collection of um, dots, like, uh, and also two end points. When you connect those two end points with different color, this is what it looks like. And when you move this one fast, it will give you, this kind of color, but let's create this one. So to do that, you need to know the concept of two dots, connecting two dots. So to do that, um, let me go back to my dashboard. And um, let's see first, uh, let's, we need this one for to do this project. And also, uh, let's go to motion, we need, uh, uh, let's let go to let's say go to one, go to two, go to three. You know when you do zigzag and with different line, it will give you this kind of uh, image. So that's what you guys you need to understand the concept and you need to know how to resolve using those black codes. Then uh, yeah, well, let's get more of uh, this one. And I need to uh, duplicate. Uh, not together. Let's get duplicate. Let's keep it here. And I need to get the pain, like drawing one from here to here, here to here, with different colors. You see, when you join these two dots, with here with this with different color and with different corners, you, you will get something like this kind of color. So we'll come up. We're trying to achieve this one. So to get a pain, I need to come here in the corner here. Add execution, I need to select pain. So to draw, I need a draw like from dot one to dot two. So we need to take a pain. So let's say pen down. Let's say this pen taken down. And also we need pen up uh, because this one going down, up, down, up, you know, we need the concept of something like that. Once a pin from dot one to two, go down, go up, 
go down. You know, that's a concept. Okay, now let's build. Let's say this one go here. And when the pen is down, and let's take these two sprints. And let's say the pin up, just something a concept like this. And we can change this one, you see, sprite one, this is sprite one, let's use sprite one. And this is sprite two, sprite two, see? This is sprite two. And this one is sprite three. You see right now, when you click, oh, you're connecting each other, you see? You just randomly, you see those points, you see, creating, you see, very good. But every time I don't need to click this, we need to create a loop, so the loop will do it for us. Uh, just, uh, you need to immediately thinking, oh, let's do the loop, so every time I don't need to click, you know, uh, go to sprint one. And now the sprint one will take down to sprint two and three. We we'll connect that one and we'll go up again. So to avoid this kind of stuff, uh, the best thing is uh, uh, immediately you need to think. Oh, let, let me use loop. You see, uh, just uh, you by using this forever loop. Uh, let me, yeah, okay, let's take, let me remove this. Okay, very good. Let me put this one also and this loop together, you see? Now they both, I keep all of them in one loop, in forever loop. Let me keep this all in forever loop and see what's the reaction. You need to think, okay, when I put in all of them under loop, what's my picture looks like? Let's, let's try and run. Oh, okay. We got something. Very good. Now, uh, we need to choose, like, we need to clear, like, you, you see, this is not just drawing. You don't see any clear sign. So, in order to do that, uh, you need to go to paint, uh, no, to the pen and uh, erase all. You know, you don't need this all stuff. Select erase all. And you need to also check the pen size. You know, we, our goal is to achieve something bigger than this, you see, the size. So how are we gonna do that? We just uh, get the pen set the pen size. Set the pen size. Uh, let's say probably. Uh, let's say set the pen size. Okay. Let's keep it here. And let's keep it here. And let's make the pin size instead of, you see, one. You see, instead of one, let me do like 10. You know, let's say, let's say 10. And next kid. Oh, wow. You see, beautiful, 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 beautiful. You see now this is, it will keep going. If you don't stop it, it will fill out and even you don't look, you don't seem this is, you know, this is like a rainbow. So to do that, let me stop this one. You need to think, okay, uh, right now, it didn't look like uh, rainbow, looks like something different. So we need to think, okay, to make this one like a rainbow, what should I need to do in my code, in the code block? 
So what you can add is maybe you can add, uh, change the paint color. We need to change the paint color right now. It's just only blue, so you don't see the colors. We need to change uh, colors by by number. Let's say change what is the color? You see here, set um, change maybe change the paint color. Yeah, change the paint color by. Um, maybe let's go, let me come and me put it here in the bottom. Let me say, what about if you change the color by 10? I need to see 10 color because here there are different colors here. So the aim is to see different colors and also under here right now, just only blue. I don't want to see only blue. I need to see different kinds of color because rainbows is a combination of different colors. That's why I choose change the paint color by 10 and let's see now. Okay. It's just giving one line. Very good. With different color, you see right now there are 10 colors, but we need this one to move around. Let me stop. And the more about level when I change this one to eight, we just need to mess around. Here we go, here we go. You see, wow. Amazing, incredible, see? Now it looks like a rainbow. Very good, very good. Can't believe it. <laughs> but right now, if you don't stop this, this will continue. The execution will be continue all across this area. See, when you come here, it will continue here, also continue here also every execution will continue. We need to stop this without clicking this one. So you need to, what we need to do for that, just you need to add another execution under here. So uh, let's come here. Let me add another one. Because if I don't stop it, this will fill out and it's not gonna look, this is a rainbow. So uh, I need to choose also forever. Uh, this is a loop. And also, I need to wait like after 10 seconds or after 8 seconds to stop, you know, the rainbow. Otherwise, we, this will fill out. So I need to select wait until, you know, wait until some second. Let me collect that one. And also after 10 seconds, need to clear out and do it again and again to repeat that one. That's what I'm looking. Uh, so let's go to, and, and erase all. Okay, now we can build. Uh, let's connect this one here. And let's say wait for one second. And after that, erase all and do is do it again and again this like this loop will do what you're gonna do after drawing those all will come here after a wait for one second draw all of them then erase all and do it again so let's try and see the change here we go you see in every in every second it will draw clear and they will draw it again amazing I hope you guys enjoying this one. Here we go. Wow. Every second, let me change the second. Let me put a little bit more time. Let's say if, if I put, let's say five seconds. You see, it takes time. After five seconds, we delete it. Yes. And do it again for us. When I do one second, it was very quick. You see, now five seconds. This will give us um, more time to, um, and will clear it for us. Interesting. I love it. The other thing is, let's say if you're trying to change the, the backdrop, you see Rhino is, is white. Let's say if you're trying to change instead of white you want to see something different so in that case you need to come to backdrops here 
let's say you can choose any of them from here you can choose baseball we try the goal is trying to see the background to look nice close to like close to the rainbows let's say something dark like a star or something from here you can choose this uh, she stars let's click star here we go see instead of white now it's black then let me run again beautiful beautiful look at that beautiful this is how you do the rainbows and um, uh, let me stop sharing and let me accept a few questions and this is very easy project you can do it in different ways uh, try to I will drop the link for the video you can practice and do it more rainbows in different color and different shape mm. yep you can change the background by going through you know background and you can select any of them let's say you don't like a star uh, let's say if you some of you guys love galaxy here we go you can do it in galaxy or let's say if some of you guys like uh, city of Chicago here we go you know you can change the background in different um, but for, for, for now let's keep it as a star looks beautiful here exactly the same with our project so this is uh, today's lesson uh, thank you guys for watching I'll drop the video and uh, if you have any question you can ask me on the next uh, on the next session thank you for watching appreciate it. Um, okay